Oh, hi, everybody. I think we have a moment. So let's take a moment and reflect on some amazing things since we're living in amazing days. Wouldn't you say? Um, so knowing this, <laughs> there's some, you know, crazy stuff going on everywhere. And I'll we'll start with, you know, the craziness over here. Of course, oh, my flashlight. And say hi to my little feet warmers. I think I'm going to start calling them. My goodness, they won't leave me. Under my feet isn't the word. So, hey, the begonias never died, so I'm going to let them just do it then. Because strange things happen here. This dead um, hibiscus bush looks like it's going to be all right. And these strawberries, like I've never done before, are booming already. Cray and pepper plants. <laughs> and then we oh yeah, have the lilies doing all right. Let's clean this out. I remember planting things over here last year, and nothing happened other than the lily. But I found some sprouts of something over here. I don't know what they are. I did put some tulip bulbs under there, but I would think that they're too soon. Um, for tulips, I don't know, really. It could be sprouts from last year. We'll just see, okay, what happens. And the canines are starting to come back. Um, well, life is happening, right? But, hey, just, just know. We're just in wait mode, you know, like, you know, like... That 747? <laughs> taken off and he goes down the runway and has to sit on the landing strip or you know takeoff strip for a minute or so until he's given the okay from the tower right as our bridegroom is waiting for the command from his father to come get his bride and he's not late at all he's in the nick of time always because he's merciful loving and a long-time god He's not delayed. It's written. It's a set time appointed by him. We're not called to wrath. We're not going to be here. If you're a believer in Jesus and you love the Lord God Almighty with all your heart, mind, body, and soul, and your neighbor as yourself, and you said yes to that free gift of salvation, and you picked up your cross and you followed him, and you became a new creation, and you have a great commission. We're, we're called to action right now, okay? Warriors don't lay down their swords when the battle gets tough. And it sure is tough, isn't it? The craziest things are happening. And they pick it up, and that's when they start getting busy. It hasn't killed us yet, right? We're still alive for a time just like this. How blessed we are. So, you know, we know that the, the deception up there <laughs> the skies are illuminated. We know it's in the water. All these dreams just blow my mind. I'm humbled and I'm at the same time like, oh my goodness, Lord, that you would even share these poison waters. It's in the water. Well, warned, okay? Um, li listening very carefully to the Lord. And being encouraged, you know, I, I find that. You know, going to the feed is discouraging enough because they've got you wanting to buy products that you can never even possibly think of acquiring, never mind, you know, trying to save your life. Because I know the Word of God tells me that if I try to save my life, I'll lose it. And I try to lose my life, I'll save it. But I know it means spiritually and things happen in the spirit first. But the Lord also says if you kill by the sword, you die by the sword. So, you know. I don't need nothing but the blood of Jesus and the cross. It was finished, all right? So we have everything we need in the Word of God. He's provided us with everything. Greater is he that is in us and he that is in the world. And he left us a comforter. And in Mark 16, he tells us that he will give us and have us do greater things in his name. And he did. So... You know, I don't believe that people know that that they have a greater ability um, 
to fight this battle because it's a spiritual battle. And yes, the battle is the Lord's and he will fight for us and we will hold our peace, but isn't anybody else experiencing any um, spiritual battles in their life? Is, um, you know, is armoring up daily a, a, a non-requirement? <laughs> of course not. Um, you know, things like this, talking to Jesus, praying without ceasing. I mean, all these things have been a must to me. Um, so, as far as the news in a nutshell, to wrap it all up there, prophetically wise, Bible, you know, everything. Uh, Daniel, Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation, it is it's just about complete, Lord. And he, he wrote this book, you know, his, his, his Holy Spirit-filled, inspired Word of God um, instructions. So, it's almost finished, y'all. The finish line's ahead. And it doesn't matter who wins, as long as we make it, right? Okay, so, there's only one way to the Father, and that's through Jesus. We already know that we are saved by grace through faith, not of ourselves, at least any man boast. And of course, he is the only one that is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness when we repent. Thank you, Jesus. You know, and that just means hate. I get it. You know, <laughs> I'm corrected. I stand corrected, Lord. A daddy, a good daddy, chastises those he loves doesn't condemn them and you don't get punished and get sent to your room so knowing all these things all right I, I pray that you're encouraged I know many take you know we all oppress we are probably the most oppressed people on the whole earth right now that's because we have the light you know the darkness can see the light we shine brightly and yeah is that a good thing? Of course. <laughs> um, it's just time to stand and time to fight. And if anything, just shine the light. So um, the news in a nutshell is everything biblical that's going on, that's supposed to go on as it's written, is almost complete. And then the rest of the world just creating chaos. The menu's changed. Um, they said, she said, he did, they did, and boom. Okay. <laughs> and that's my news for tonight. <laughs> um, so, saying all that, it's like, hey, we got the deception going on, we got um, earthquakes, we got Luke 21, we got Daniel, we have everything is coming to pass, right? As written. Not only that, right? Yet we have to find, it's like, you know, this, tell me, it's not the hardest time in your life. And yet, it's like, this is amazing. We're alive for a time just like this, right? Who would have thunk? Um, but it is the hardest. And there's no denying that. And there's oppression that's involved, not depression. The enemy wants you to think these things and think these thoughts. But, you know, we have to, the battles in the mind, sometimes we have to uh, fight those thoughts in our brain, you know, and focus harder. Are you just like looking at me because you want to be a ham? <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so I'm trying to get to the word here, I'm trying to shift. All right. <clears throat> So I was given an, an encouraging word as always. Um, probably should have it set up a little better. It's in Psalm 71. And, and it reads. A little windy out. We have all the advisories. The wind, the air quality, the thunderstorm, and tornadoes. <laughs> no big deal. It's a new norm. No, it's not a new norm. It's actually been an, an old norm for a long time. We just didn't, we knew about the water and all that stuff, but we didn't have it all together. The puzzle wasn't complete. And I'm not doing a really good job getting this all set up. Am I? Okay, so 
In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my God, and out of the hand of the wicked, and out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Lord. God, thou art my trust from my youth. By thee have I been holden from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. I may wonder under many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Oh, well, David had a way great with words, but he also had a heart for God. And, you know, we are come to the Lord with a childlike faith and innocence and trusting as he's looking for faith when he returns and his childlike faith, right? As we trust, or we hope for Titus 2.13 to part those clouds and call us home any moment, as he's promised. And there are several scriptures as, you know, that speak of a pre-tribulation after. Um, and it's a twinkle poof moment, <laughs> suddenly. And that's going to happen. When? I don't know. I don't know. If you need a guess, then I'm going to, you know, guess. Just saying. Uh, Ascension, Pentecost time. But hey, it could be, it, it's a minute. It's any moment. So you kind of see some sky up there, right? <laughs> some clouds. All day you see heavy stuff. But just know we're not alone. We're in this together. The enemy wants us to believe that we're alone. Obviously, if he can... Um, divide, steal, and destroy in any way he's going to do that and whatever seeds he can plant or keep us busy in our life or, or cause things to happen or, or make us think that we have things <laughs> that's the biggest thing right there it's like oh no <laughs> what's it what do I got now don't go it's alright your faith he's, he's our everything Okay, he's, he's my everything. I'm a literally walk by faith, moment by moment, step by step, inch by inch, literally. And for those who know me, know that. So to do this was really good. So I might be able to, depending on if anything comes out of the ground, maybe throw a few cilantro, um, tomatoes, and a little peppermint things. <laughs> you know, over there, some more herbs. If I can find any, can't find anything. But you know, hey, there's no food shortages. Just, just, just trust the Lord, okay? He provides all of our needs according to His riches and glory in heaven through Christ Jesus. And those needs are food, shelter, and clothing. Um, there's nothing that's impossible with God, through God, by God. But the cross, it was finished. The blood of Jesus. Oh my goodness, you can't decline it, you can't deny it. You can, but it's real, and it works. And the name of Jesus, and demons flee at the name of Jesus. Did you know that? <laughs> the blood of Jesus is over this yard, always walking up and down my neighborhood of giant warring angels with the Father's sins. The blood of Jesus is over my animals and me and the electronics and... Well, armored up and ready to sleep in Psalms 91, peace and protection under his wings. And he has angels assigned to watch over me. And you find peace in him and him alone. Trust, believe, faith, know him.
go ahead and continue to read Psalm 71, 72. Awesome books. <laughs> well, that's all good. Praise the Lord. Keep looking up. This is Debbie from Texas saying, Peace out, Maranatha. Our King surely is coming. <laughs>